Hey everybody, Jason Hercamp here with the Hercamp Home Group. More importantly, living in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about Lakeville, Minnesota. And is Lakeville actually truly a growing city in Minnesota for that matter? Before we get started, as always, if you could subscribe to the channel, get notifications and click that bell. And if you could also give us that thumbs up to show us that you like, it would greatly, greatly help get other people to our channel that are looking to buy or sell in the Twin Cities area. So that would really be appreciated and we would love to get this channel out to as many people as possible. If you enjoy life in the city but don't love being in St. Paul or Minneapolis, this may be the perfect spot for you. Let's dive deep right now into the beautiful city that I personally grew up in, Lakeville, Minnesota. Right behind me is Lake Marion. It's just over a 500 acre lake. It's a little bit low because we haven't had a lot of water this fall, but it's a great recreational lake, a full recreational lake with a couple swimming beaches on it. Just fantastic. But Lakeville in general has a population of just under 73,000, which is about four and a half percent more than it did last year. So it's growing incredibly fast. It's about a 30 to 35 minute drive to either of the downtowns and you're gonna go up either Highway 35 or Highway 35E. Uh, the mean time um, as far as a distance to work is about 27 minutes and Lakeville is surrounded by cities like Apple Valley, Elko Newmarket, Burnsville, Credit River, the city of Credit River. So they're about 23,000 households in Lakeville and believe it or not, a staggering almost 90% home ownership in the city, which is one of the highest in all of Minnesota. The medium household income is sitting at $112,000 and the median home sales price sits right at about 470,000. You can have homes as really inexpensive as about 200,000, <clears> and then you can have homes all the way up to 2 million. The housing market in Lakeville in general is completely booming and there's plenty of opportunities to buy or sell for a good value in this city. So give us a call, send us an email if you're looking to find a home in the Lakeville area and we would love to be your real estate agents of choice. So Lakeville has some fun spots to check out, basically right in your backyard. We have Applewood Orchard is a popular spot for fall apple picking. Quite frankly, Ritter Farm Park that we're standing in right now, they have crab apple trees and so forth that I'm sure you can pick away at if you can beat the deer to them because there's plenty of wildlife in Lakeville. Along with breweries, we have a couple great breweries. We have the Lakeville Brewing Company. We have Angry Inch Brewing, our popular spots for people in Lakeville to enjoy some of the different micro breweries, if you will. So Lakeville really has has plenty of attractions to offer that you definitely need to check out. So you're looking to get your eat on in Lakeville. Well, there are a ton of opportunities that truly won't disappoint. In the last decade, there's really been a huge influx of non-chain restaurants that are gonna be very unique and provide all sorts of food option, whether you're looking to get a great burger at B-52s or you're looking to get an awesome steak for uh, anniversary, a special event at Porter House, which is a good steak place right here in Lakeville. You can't go wrong. In addition to that, <clears throat> we have the Chart House, uh, which is gonna be for some of those fun events. They have a great patio, outdoor space to eat. And then there's also, you know, some other great restaurants like Northern Tap House. If you're really looking to get some good breakfast, go to the Buckboard. They've been around as long as I can remember, and that probably about 42 years. Uh, great Mexican restaurant would be Teresa's Harry's Scratch Kitchen that has all sorts of unique foods and they're also not a chain. And you know, many of these places can be found in only Lakeville. And so it's just a great spot to enjoy food, enjoy family, friends, and you know, maybe just hang out after you've been in these beautiful parks, been out on the lake with your family and friends. So you can't go wrong currently with the food scene in Lakeville. 
So with all these lakes, you might be saying to yourself, how can I get on one of those lakes and enjoy that lake life for myself? I wanna have my own dock. I wanna be able to have my own boat. I don't wanna wait in those long lines at the fishing ramp, or you know, I just wanna take evening cruises out on my boat, uh, maybe have a glass of wine or a couple of cocktails, if you will, and enjoy some of that great boating and fishing. Frankly, maybe you like to go ice fishing because you can ice fish really easily on Lake Marion or on Orchard Lake, and they have have some fantastic pan fishing in the winter hit us up look us up in the description down below and we'd be happy to help you we can set up a zoom meeting we can uh, set up a phone consultation we're happy to meet in person we'd love to show you all of the lakes and importantly the two major lakes which are going to be orchard lake and lake marion so Lakeville has 125 miles of pedestrian and bike trails. There is actually 1,700 acres of public parks and open space. There's 65 parks and playgrounds, and some of the top parks include Ritter Farm Park that we're standing right in currently. We have Caspian Park, which is right on Lake Marion. All these parks are available to you. Plenty, plenty of parks to get out, run the dog. There's a dog park right here on Ritter Farm Park. And if you're just looking to relax, have a picnic, there's some of the parks that even have bonfire areas. It's super awesome for family events. So Lakeville is adding more and more playgrounds, athletic complexes, an area for people to actually just enjoy the outdoor, whether it be casually or if you're going to, you know, softball league or, you know, kids baseball games, soccer games. There's just plenty, plenty of parks for all the activities that you're looking to do. Along with the parks, there are eight lakes, if you will, in Lakeville. And there's really two that are super popular recreational lakes. Lake Marion, like I mentioned before, and then we also have Orchard Lake that's a little bit north of here. Both lakes have public swimming beaches, they have boat launches, they're great for fishing. A little known fact about Orchard Lake is it actually is fairly good for big musky fishing. So Lakeville has three school districts in the city of Lakeville. The main one and by far the largest is the school district that I went to my entire life, which is District 194. And it serves the majority of the city of Lakeville. Also on the east side of Lakeville, there is District 192, which is the Farmington School District. And then to the northeast side of Lakeville, we have District 196, which is the Rosemount Apple Valley Egan School District. All three of these are great public school districts and they are extremely highly rated. So it doesn't matter where you live in Lakeville, your children will receive a great education. So you're looking to get around the Twin Cities and you live in Lakeville, right? Well, Lakeville uses the Minnesota Valley Transit Authority line for its public transportation. And that brings you around the south and southeast, southwest metro of the Twin Cities to places like Apple Valley, Egan, Prior Lake, Rosemount, Savage, Burnsville. So it's a great way to get around if you are looking for maybe a economical and also planet-friendly way of uh, transportation. So if you're looking to get to downtown for an event like a uh, football game or the basketball twins or going over to St. Paul to go to a wild hockey game, the nice thing about when there's a lot of traffic is there's an HOV lane that pretty much runs right from Lakeville is where it starts to downtown Minneapolis and you can get past all that traffic. You can pay to be in that lane if you're by yourself. You can ride a motorcycle in it without paying at all or if you have two people in the car no matter what their age is, you can use that lane also. So it's a fantastic way to avoid the traffic and it's reasonably inexpensive. So to answer the question earlier, is Lakeville actually a fast growing city? It is growing incredibly fast. There is a ton of land around Lakeville and it has the possibility of actually being the largest city in all of Minnesota because of all that land that we have. There's some really great school districts, great food scene, awesome parks, awesome recreational things that can happen, you know, with all these parks and lakes. So people really enjoy living in the city of Lakeville and it's the perfect spot if you're interested 
in something close to the Twin Cities, but removed far enough away where you, we still have some cows, we still have cornfields, things of that nature. So we would be happy to help you out with all, all of your real estate needs. You know, you can get a hold of us in the description here down below, uh, right on this YouTube channel, living in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we look forward to helping you out, find your dream home, find that next home, maybe even find that investment property, maybe find that short-term rental that might be on one of the lakes. Let us know, we can help you out with any and all of that. And we look forward to seeing you next time.